A man's family finally has his missing remains back. They've been gone for 10 years. Channel 5's Cristina Rendon live in our Cameron County newsroom with more. Well, it was a long 10-year journey that led the man's cremated remains from a funeral home to a storage unit and then to police. Tonight, Joanne Nelson's relieved that the mystery is solved. And I just broke down. I just started crying. Joanne Nelson finally has her husband's remains with her again. She recalls the moment Brownsville police knocked on her door and told her they had her husband, Donald Ray Nelson's cremated ashes. He died in 1999 and was taken to a funeral home for cremation. That was the last she saw of his remains until now. If I told the police officer, I said, you don't know my husband. I said he was determined to find us and be back with us, and I said he did it. Nelson says it was a bill she couldn't pay. Ten years ago, she needed just $50 to claim her husband's ashes. That's all I needed, and, and we were so broke at the time. But when she finally came up with the money, the funeral home couldn't find the ashes. Later, they went out of business. Then in 2003, a Brownsville woman bid on a storage unit that had Nelson's remains in a filing cabinet. The woman turned over the box of ashes to Brownsville police. Nelson's cremated remains remained stored here for the past six years, most recently right here on this shelf, until recent technology was able to link him to his wife. Back in 2003, we didn't have the technology that we have now to track uh, persons of interest. It really tears my heart out to think that he was left like that. But Nelson is focusing on the happiness of having him back. He's never been gone. You know what I'm saying? He's always been here. He's never left us. She touches his box of ashes and smiles. Nelson wants to give her husband a proper burial. He loved the sea. She wants his ashes scattered there. And Nelson tells us she will eventually make her husband's wishes a reality. For now, though, she says it's selfish, but she'll hold on to him a little longer. Live in the Cameron County Newsroom, Christian Arundon, Channel 5 News at 6.